Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will set up ESP compile environment for Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is my favorite code edit, and it has lots of wonderful extension. And let's take a look how we set up the ESP uh, compile environment for it. Okay, so. The first things, of course, we need to download the Visual Studio Code. Okay, so you can go to this website. Okay, code.visualstudio.com. Okay, you can download it here. This is for Windows, and here is for different operation system. Okay, so after you download it, the Visual Studio Code will be like this. The first things we need to install the extension. Okay, click here, extension. So here we type IDF. So is this one? We need to install this extension. Click here, click here to install it. Okay, install. Okay, now it is installed. When it finished uh, install, it will be have some um, item show here. Okay, it's showing here. Click here. So it will uh, show the interface like this to let us uh, setting the software download download the software and do some setting okay so here it has two options one is express another one is advanced we choose the advanced click this one and once and this will be uh, the first things to choose the download server we use the github and also you can use this one this is a chip company uh, website we keep it default and uh, the version the version uh, we can use the release the latest one uh, version 4.4 .4. and uh, this is the source code directory so we choose our um, we can put it uh, uh, let's take a look here so I like to put the folder, I like to put the software into this folder. So we copy this um, path and paste it here. And this is a tool directory. We put it into this folder, tools, copy, and paste. So it's, it's in this folder, okay? So next, install. So that's very simple, right? Just click next. Okay, it take a long time to install it. So the first things it will install the IDF uh, request uh, requirement tools is here, and this is the tool, and this will be installed SDK SDK source code and this will be installed the Python virtual environment. Okay, so this is uh, tell us what it is install. Okay, install download 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 the um, zip file. Okay, so here is download and install and install here. So uh, it will take a uh, Lots of time to install. Let's have a cup of coffee and wait it to finish. So I will pause the video for a moment, and uh, when it finish, and we will uh, come back. Okay. So we finish the download for the uh, IDF code. Now is is time for the tools. Click the download tools. So we finish the first step and then the second step. So uh, 
also it take times and so I pause the video for a moment. Okay, so finally uh, we finished the uh, installation for the ESP IDF. Okay. All all cert all has have been configured, okay? Okay, so next let's click view and click here and we choose this one um, show example projects so if you didn't see anything if you didn't see this command here you can type it manually like uh, ESP uh, IDF and show command show example projects so it will sh loading the examples okay just a moment y using using current as ESP IDF okay click here okay so this is uh, examples this is the hello world, okay this is our famous hello world project so we can um, create create our own project based on this example project click here create project using example hello world click here and uh, it will let us choose the folder select the folder we put it into um, this folder in here IDF we create one folder we create a, a new new one folder we new one folder is make our code my code okay my code select this one select the folder okay it will copy all the hello world example folder into uh, the folder into the our old code folder so it is here let's take a look so this is the uh, IDF this is my code uh, this is the uh, hello world hello uh, uh, folder uh, it, it uh, copy from this ESP IDF and uh, it copy from the examples it is here get start okay copy from the hello from this folder okay so what we uh, what we change will keep in uh, in this folder it will not affect the original example example folder okay so it will change here so it's is here so this is the folder and uh, hello double click it so this is the main match here this is the main folder and uh, click here and this is the hello world may.c is here so it's also the file inside here so this is the hello world may.c okay and uh, we change a little bit here this is hello world okay and uh, I change it a little bit Michael Michael who okay so uh, we change it and we save it okay we save it so next step we how we compile download and uh, uh, test it uh, take a look here okay take a look here so at the bottom of the of the edit is uh, all the tools we needed to uh, we needed 
it for our compile, download, and monitor. So first thing, so this is the port. This is the port. Uh, this port, when you plug your uh, ESB32 ball, a uh, ESB32 ball, so it will show the uh, port here, and you can select it. You can change it. Uh, click here, click here, so you can change it. This is a command. So when we find the uh, the name, it is in the device manager. Okay, let m let me open my device manager. So if you plug it, plug in your uh, plug in your ESP32 board, the port will show here in the device manager and if you want to change the setting for the download and fresh click here uh, click here it will show here our ball already plug it in and uh, the ball is, is this one okay the ball is this one is our uh, design customized the uh, ESP32 ball okay okay so um the first things you setting the port, okay, the command port, and the second you setting you need to setting the uh, device target is here, click here, so device target, the device target, and um, for our ball we use uh, uh, ESP32, okay, we use uh, ESP32, you can use the U USB JTAG or the program jetha so either one choose this one and uh, then if you change the if you change the uh, device target it will do some setting here okay it will do the setting it will compile the call for the uh, special device target okay so just uh, wait a moment uh, we did finish. Okay. Okay, it's 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 here. It take time to setting the device target. Uh, we pause the video for a moment. Okay, it finished the uh, uh, setting. It will pop this uh, reminder, and we choose uh, yes, okay, and then next, okay. So this is the setting the target, and this is uh, um, the current project tell us so where is uh, where is the code, and this is SDK config is the manual is the manual config. You can click it. Uh, we can click take a look at it. Okay, so if we need to change something, we uh, change the manual config. It's loading the initial value. Okay. Okay, so this is all the setting for the manual config for the SDK config. Okay, so like the SDK config, the, the compile tools, uh, build type, and uh, and uh, or is here so here is Wi-Fi setting and uh, okay all the setting is here so we can just uh, save it okay we can just uh, save it and uh, the next things okay so here is full clean we not we don't use it so this is uh, build okay here build project okay is here build project click here it will build it it's building the project okay it's building the project it's running the CMake here okay so it's as usual it take a lot lots of time and then we pause the video for a moment okay so now it built successfully uh, is here okay so next time 
And next, we need to fresh our bin file, uh, which is here. So fresh it. So uh, click here. This is builder. This is builder, and this is fresh devices. Click here. Freshen. Okay, it is freshen. Okay. Fresh done. Okay. So um, next, we need to uh, monitor the devices. We need to check the output signal, the output information from our ESP32. Click here. Okay, click here. So we can click this one to maximum the display. Okay, so you will see it's already output the hello and uh, Michael, my name is this one, and it is reset, and it will output it again. Okay, it will output it again. So it means uh, we already successfully download the code into our ESP32, and also it running successfully. Okay, so you can uh, minimize like this, and you also can delete it, delete the monitor. Okay, like this. So if you want to go back to check the call, it's here. And then if you want to change the call, uh, it's also here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, whole processing for the uh, setting ESP32 compile environment for, e for Visual Studio Code. Okay. Okay, so this is my call. And uh, this is for this video. See you next time.